Eamon Hyatt, Chapter 5 for Constellations, Mixed Questions, Exercise 5 there at the end, number 5, Wordy Question, but not very much in the way of actual calculations. At 12 noon, a patient's given a pill containing 50 units, I'll just take a note of that, that's the initial amount, Two you know it is 50 units. By 1 p.m., the number of units is dropped by 12%, by 2 p.m., another 12%, so it keeps falling off at the same rate of 12%. How much will be remaining at 6 p.m., six hours later? Well, the reconciliation in this case is going to be this. UN plus 1 is going to be, if you lose 12%, if you take off 12%, that means you've still got 88%, which in its decimal form is 0.88. So you've got 0.88 of what you had originally. And it doesn't mention anything about any changes taking place during those six hours. So there's no value added on. So this isn't the type of reconciliation I'll need to plod through. There's only one thing happening, so I can use a formula there. Straight away, I can see that six hours later, it's going to be 0.88 to the power six times U naught. So that you've got, if it wants the amount, I've got 0.88 to the power 6 times 50, which is going to be 23.2202, etc. I don't know how many decimal places I want, I'll say 23.22 units. B. A doctor considers prescribing a course of treatment which involves a patient taking these every 6 hours and the doctor knows that more than 100 units is regarded as dangerous. So could you do this? Could you prescribe one of those pills every six hours and not exceed 100? Well, that's a limits question. Well, first of all, the reconciliation would be this. It'd be UN plus 1 equals something times UN plus 50, because that's each pill. But this time, it's not happening every hour. That was the multiple for it happening every hour. How much would it fall by? over six hours, well that was lost inside this question, it was this 0.88 to the power six, which you could leave as that, which is exact, or you could multiply out. I'll put that down first of all, it's 0.88 to the power six, because that's the amount it would fall over six hours before the 50 was added. And that's a proper fraction, so this has got a limit. Now will I write that out as a number, or will I just leave it? I'm tempted just to leave it, because it's more exact than that rather than having all those 12 decimal places that's going to come out of this. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go straight into the explanation. So since that coefficient 0.88 to the power 6 and 0.88 is certainly less than 1, so power 6 will make it even smaller still. Since that's a proper fraction, then you can see definitely that the sequence converges to a limit, call it L, as n tends to infinity. And that limit's given by this. L equals B over 1 minus A. Or you could just as well saying, well, once you've reached your limit, the number you put in is the same as the number you get out. So L equals that times L plus 50 and solve it. Makes no difference. 50 over 1 minus 0 0.88 to the power 6. And I can just do that on my calculator with judicious use of brackets. So 50 divided by, no, in the bracket, 1 minus 0.88 to the power 6. Close the bracket. Then press equals and I've got 93.3539 dot 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 etc. units. For my answer, that's what the amount will be in the long run. So, so the question would be exactly as, should the doctor prescribe it? Yes, this can be prescribed as the limit is 93.35 units, which is less than the 100 unit danger level. Yeah. One more thing though, that's the question finished, but remember, limits are dynamic, not static. What happens when you reach the limit is, this limit of just calling 93, what happens there is, you're at 93 and that's the limit because the amount of that drops by dropping that amount 0 0.88 to the power 6, whatever it was, the amount it drops is the same rises again by that 50. So during the course of six hours it falls, and then the pill bumps it back up by 50. So it's actually two levels there. There's the upper level, which is this 93.35, but there'll be a lower level, which is 50 below that. 
which will be 43.35. You have to consider both of these when you've got a question. So if it said something like, this is fine as long as it doesn't fall below 80, well that would be no use, because for quite a lot of the time it's down below 80. But in this case it's all right because it says, will it ever go over 100? No, because that 93 is the absolute top value of that dynamic limit, not the 43 which is at the bottom. Right, that'll do for five.